On this episode of the Top 5 Cydia Tweaks of the Week, we're going to be taking a look at the most unique and useful tweaks in iOS 8 for the iPhone and iPad. Let's get it on with the show. And alright guys, the first tweak is called Boxy2, so let me go real quick into my settings here, turn it on, and when I come back to my home screen, you can tell that now all of my icons are sort of clumped together in the middle. You know, one of the things that I really don't like about iOS 8 on the iPad is that the layout is really dull and looks like a blown up version of the iPhone. Uh, that's just a plain truth. Uh, I really like what Boxy does here, and you don't have to have them just like this. You can also change it to your liking and decide how far each icon is from the end of the screen, allowing you to pretty much fully customize your home screen layout. So that's definitely really cool. It will cost you a little bit of money at $1.99 and you can find it in the Mod My Repo. By the way, I'll have all the information you guys will need in the description, so definitely make sure to head down there if you need to look up the repo or price of each tweak. Next up is gonna be Photo Info. Now let's say that you took a picture and you really wanted to know how large the size of that picture was or what kind of camera took that picture. Well, iOS doesn't really allow you to do that, but with this tweak, you can actually tap on the info link on the top of the page and it will basically tell you every detail of that photo. You can read the name, directory, image size, file size, and a lot more, and even what kind of camera took that picture, so that's definitely a nifty feature. Uh, this can be extremely useful for when you want to create an album or know exactly when you took that picture. This tweak is completely free and you can find it in the Big Boss repo. Now, we don't really get to see that often all that many launchers in iOS, but Insta Launcher is definitely worth a look. As soon as you download it, you'll have to go into your settings and assign it an activator gesture to make it work. In my case, I have the five finger pinch gesture, but you can basically do whatever you would like. So right here, when you head into the main part of the tweak, uh, you can drag this circle into the first letter of an app that you would like to open. So for example, if I really want to open the Photos app, I would just open up the P section and drag it into Photos. It's really that easy. This is definitely an awesome tweak, especially if you have a lot of apps. Uh, I can definitely come in handy. And this one is from the Big Boss repo as well, and it's about $1.99. The next tweak is going to be Rise from the developer ASD. Now what Rise does is basically allow you to shut off your alarm from the lock screen without having to actually type in your passcode or even use Touch ID. Now you see where I'm going with this, it basically replaces the slider font on the lock screen with slide to turn off alarm, and so when you actually have an alarm and you want to shut it off completely, not just snooze it, then you can simply swipe it and it will cancel it. Very simple tweak but also very intuitive, and it also comes from the Big Boss repo for free. And lastly, but definitely not least, we have Daughter, an awesome free tweak that puts a tiny circle next to each icon that is running in the background. So usually you would get these circles when you download a new application, but Daughter allows you to change that function. Now, as you can tell, the settings app doesn't have that circle right now, but let's see what happens if I open it up. It's clearly running in the background, and when I go back to my home screen, it now has that new circle. Also, if you dive into the settings of the tweak, you can also set it to batch replacement. So again, a great free tweak, and this one is coming from the Big Boss repo as well. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and don't forget to leave me some feedback in the comments telling me what other tweaks you guys are enjoying so far. I'll also leave the name of the theme that I'm using in this video, as well as everything else in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching, stay tuned for the next episode on Monday, and I will see you guys on the next one.